right on. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Let's let's do this shit. Yes. We're gonna go on to our next topic. So speaking get- of being dead and remembered, and how you want to be remembered, Segway. I recently. Segway. Segway. Great segue. Segway. Seg, 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 seg. Thank you, Fake Clay. Segway. Seg. I have I have come to the realization that Thomas Edison, inventor and New Jersey native, is an asshole. Thomas Edison is a saint. No. He's an asshole. He's a dick. Yeah, and, he is uh, the one that... And we have proof. Yes. We have plenty proof. of proof. So I want to talk yeah. about this. First of all, I mean, do you agree with me? And if not, I can hope... I, I hope I can shed some light on why he's a dick. Yeah, well, because I absolutely agree with you. Why? Okay, so here we go. So why? Steve because knows a bit. I like, I like Tesla. Yeah. And he basically stole everything from Tesla. I basically, got, well, I wouldn't say. Well, 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 well. You don't know the whole story. There's the AC and DC current, and one of them was the one that Edison was backing, and the other one Tesla was backing. And I believe Tesla's Tesla's current is the one that we generally use today because it just functions a lot uh, better, more efficiently. And Edison was trying to like sabotage everything Tesla was doing, right? Yep. Like he was sending dudes yep. into Tesla's uh, labs, destroying anything that he was creating, like just yep. burning down stuff, making like uh, uh, smear campaigns against Tesla by like. And here's the thing. He wasn't just going and being like, Tesla picks his boogers. He was like, Tesla kills elephants. Look, this is how he does it. And he was killing elephants and killing real, like, animals. He was just like, this is what his stuff does. And they were killing animals to demonstrate the dangers of electricity. But in reality, his electricity does the same thing. So really, all he was doing was killing animals and saying electricity is bad and trying to blame me on Tesla. It was bullshit. And here's the other thing. Is that, like, when he got, like, more uh, later on, like, around this time when he got more established, he was getting people to bring their inventions in, and he was taking them and being like, thank you for your invention, but this wouldn't work. I'm going to steal this invention. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to build my own thing. And so I was watching Drunk History the other day, which is great, because we're drinking, we're talking about history right now, so this kind of makes sense. And they were telling about how the this guy came up with, like, um, the horse. He had, like, basically, like, um, little, like, kind of binoculars, not binoculars, but like like viewing lenses, and he would spin the the images of horses and galloping, and he was like, nah, this will never make any money, and then he was like, basically, this is going to make money, we're going to do it my way, so he made it so that like he would, he could make film project, and so he was making his own movies, and then he basically was making really shitty movies, like cats punching each other, and like, well, that actually sounds pretty cool, Cats but he was making, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. fucking awesome. But he was making like dumb <laughs> puppet movies and stuff like that, and he was like, and it was, it was, this was in New Jersey, and then he was like, he's like, okay, um, anybody else who tries to make a movie can't, because I'm gonna patent this and I'm gonna own this and I, I have this, and so other people were like, oh, I want to make a movie, and he's like, no, motherfucker, this is my movie, get out of here. So they couldn't. They couldn't have this movie, and so he was monopolizing these 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 movies that were coming out, and they're all under Edison. And then a bunch of other people were like, "Look, I want to be artful. I'll do whatever you say. Um, just please let me make a movie." So he started making his own little Edison union, and these were just a group of artists that would that follow him. But one of the, the guy that created the the invention of the spinning, like he wanted to make his own movie, like a bunch of other people did too. And so they were trying to get it off the ground. And every time that they were, like, making these things, Edison would send his goons to go and, like, disrupt it and, like, break it and, like, blow it up. He sued this guy 147 times, I think. He sued him 147 times. And, like, eventually, I think the Supreme Court, I don't know what they were doing, but they, it forced, it forced the guy who was trying to make these movies and all the other people, they were like, look, this sucks. We're trying to make movies in New Jersey. This blows. It's cold. Edison keeps blowing up our shit. Let's move to L.A. And so they get up and they end up moving to L.A. where they, they – um, and it's a guy named like Fox and some other people. And they basically establish 20th Century Fox, Paramount Pictures, and Universal Studios. And those really? were the people that – yeah, and those were the people that Edison was trying to like hunker down or whatever. And eventually the Supreme Court like – I'm pretty sure the Supreme Court like said that Edison couldn't have a monopoly and, and yada yada. But like – but those companies now have monopolies, pretty much. Well, sure. But, like, the point so, is that Edison... The point is, is that Edison is a dick, man. He's okay. an asshole. But I, I'm, I'm also going to play devil's advocate on this, okay? So, there is, I understand the whole monopoly. Like, he was trying to be a monopoly of this movie generation and everything like that. But 
every company that creates something tries to be monopoly monopoly on it, on anything that they create. Anything. No. Why? You have someone like Tesla who is making not Tesla, sorry, Elon Musk. He's making patents and stuff, and he's releasing them and allowing people to take them, so that they could just make a world better. Tesla never tried to like, think like about bring how, anybody down. Think about how many inventions have been shut down on big corporations because they're going to lose a lot of money. There's probably things That's that true. we've never even heard of, but that would probably make our lives that so doesn't, much better. That doesn't make it right. That I'm makes them assholes as well. I, I I agree with you there. So it's just the world that we live in, and it's been going on since the invention of electricity. You yeah, know, that's... it's not just yesterday that this all fucking shit happened, but, but it, my it's aggravating. Is, my problem is, is that as a kid in in mid, in pre or whatever uh, grade school, I learned about Preschool. Thomas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, I learned about Thomas Edison as like like this yeah. hero and this guy who invented the light bulb and we have everything to thank for him and like nah not really i mean well, he's an asshole well well what it wasn't tesla who created it it was someone else i, I believe the someone else bulb? yeah created that was edison that was edison oh, i think no no i don't no, know no. now the, after all the stuff i'm hearing right yeah my dad even told me i cannot jesus i want to call him right now uh yeah he told me who actually invented it but he kind of took the idea and kind of altered it a little bit. And I bet you he, he, he had that idea and he probably beat down the other guy and was like, no, nah, this is mine. So it was, it was a cool. European. A... It, it was a European guy. So, But um, uh, another long story short of all of these creations, you know, what if there is a fr flying car out there? Do you think Ford and everyone shot that down? Do you think they would? Mm. I, I don't know. I mean, like, but but here's the thing, like, the the Tesla line, like he's he's allowed that to be open source. Mm -hmm. He's allowed people to take it and just run with it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, they they opened up their um, all their patents just yeah. recently. So, right. So, so self-driving so cars. Because like they had a lot of patents on a lot of stuff, and that patents basically hinder creativity. Right. To an extent. Okay. The, the other thing is that you don't want some big company to come in and say, hey, I'm going to take your idea. And and then, okay, you're going to sit there and create something. Someone else take it. And then why are you going to... Because they have more money to be able to distribute yeah. it. I totally understand where you come from, me. And so, yeah, but, there's like a give and take here. But I agree with you on the patent side. Okay. Because I can't sit there and say, hey, I created this beer bottle right here. This is something very fancy that I just created. And... Uh, you can't fucking make it. Okay, hey, well, if I learn how to make it on my own, then I can fucking make it. That's that's my deal, you know. Well, right. well that's what I'm saying. Like I was just saying, but I'm I'm talking about like patents. They opened up all their patents. So say like that beer bottle, they figured out how to make it a lot better. Right now, someone can't come along and make it better and distribute it because someone already else has a patent on it. Now they go I, to that company and try to sell the patent or sell something to them. They say, oh well, we already have patent and thanks for the idea. Well, we, this we is just took I, your idea because you can't just patent that. This is what I think, though, is that, okay, a patent should say, okay, yes, that's your idea. If someone expands off of it, they have to give you some residuals. Why doesn't it work like that? That sounds like a good idea, but... Yeah. Well, oh, well, hey, you made a self-cooling beer, beer bottle. Holy shit, hey, I made the beer bottle. You just made it a little bit better. I have a patent for 20 years, and now you have to give me 5% of profits. Why doesn't it work like that? Because, I mean, you basically made something. It's like, it would be like reinventing the wheel. I'm not saying like... Yeah, but you if, I made, I made, if you made something better. better than your wheel, you made well, the idea, but I made it better. I'm still going to give you 5%, man. I'm gonna still going to give you fucking 5%. You're good to go. Hmm. Not really. 5% out of 95%? Or, or we can just delay... Uh, progression and everything and just use my shitty ass wheel for the next 20 years until you're allowed to fucking make they it. They did back. reinvent the wheel, by the way. Okay, Do you guys see it lately? It's pretty no. cool. Look up. It's, tire? it's called Shark. They're called Shark Wheels and they're really, really cool the way they invented it. Like, they're actually thinking about probably what? putting them on cars. Yeah. What? Yeah, actually, you guys look YouTube. Look it up. Shark Wheels. They shark just start, wheels? Yeah, shark wheels. Um, 
shit up right they now. just originally started making them for um you know the the board the borders that go down like large hills in california and you see them they're all skin they wanted to invent a wheel that actually grips without losing stability and motion oh, and shit. you see oh, what wow. you see what they look like they look really cool yeah, yeah well, what happens, I mean, they look they, different. What but... happens is they, they roll exactly like a wheel does. They don't lose any motion like a wheel. They're not blocky or nothing. They grip the cement a lot better, and they're talking about trying to make them for cars now. Holy crap. This because is awesome. they last a lot longer, too. That, that is pretty great. cool. See, I blink something to the show sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's nuts. Sure so do. on the topic, on the, so this was just drunk history I was watching was about yeah. inventors. Sorry. The other thing oh. that they mentioned, we talk, we talk, you're talking, Ian, about like, oh, well, they make a patent, yada, yada. Have you heard about Alexander Bell, the quote-unquote inventor of the telephone? No. So the story goes is that he actually wasn't the inventor of the telephone. Ah. The actual inventor of the telephone was a man named Elijah Gray. And the only reason why Bell is credited with the invention of the telephone... Because he was on the receiving end. I'm kidding. Because he <laughs> actually had connections with the patent office. And he owed um, people a lot of money. And so he had a lawyer, or one of his lawyers, or one of his people, like talk to this guy named um, Weenus Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he basically was like, look, there is a competition going around the town for those who invent the telephone. And if you get a patent that comes in, I want to see it first. So Weenus, upon getting a patent from Elijah Gray, who is basically this bo- Weenus, has basically figured out how to make the telephone work. They look at it, and then Alexander Bell takes it, puts his own – Thing on it which is basically copying and then puts it in and then they stamp it as the uh invention as the telephone no and then, shit. He, and then yeah and then with, with years and years because like gray, gray knows this he's like dude no fuck I, this is my invention this is bullshit so, <coughs> so he's fighting it and fighting it and they're like yeah well you know bell's well known and uh we're gonna give it to him but then years later uh weenus wilbur admits that he had taken it and <laughs> given it to Alexander Bell, even though Elijah Gray was the guy who actually invented it. Wow. There are tons of figures and individuals who were remembered for false, like, things because they bullied and, like, weaseled their way into this. And it's crazy. Well, uh, something that, I mean, I'm not saying he's not a great man, but if you think back, uh, George Washington, like, he was, like, this noble man that you know, uh, always stood up for things, but during times of war, what, what did they call him? The Swamp Fox or something like that? Like, he... he what? Was that's fo- a badass name. I never heard that. What's that? I never heard that. That is awesome. The yeah, Swamp uh, Fox? I, I, I can't remember exactly his name, but he did like almost like the original guerrilla warfare. Fair. Like, where he was fighting, like, uh, you know, in hiding instead of back then where everyone stood in fucking line in front of the oh, other guy and go... Right. Psh- and, you know, shot each other. Like yeah. idiots. Yeah, so uh, to think about it, still a great man. I'm not saying, like, founding father and everything, but did untraditional ideas and things like that, you know, but you put people up on pedestals and, and we're told about certain things in history, but there's a lot of things that well, aren't I got told. Well, another, I got another asshole that you guys don't know about probably. <laughs> Your own? <laughs> Columbus, you guys know. Ah, I know about, about Christopher Columbus. Okay, Everybody what else did I about Columbus? What happened? What he do? He was an asshole. Why was he an asshole? Like, <laughs> because he did not find America. Okay, bullshit. Now, that wasn't the only thing, though. You, oh, you know, you, we celebrate a man who. What happened was they're trying to find it. The thing is, they're trying to. There is um. They're trying to find India. East, yeah, East India India trade. What happened was a bunch of people. I don't know if you know your history bunch of people there was like a road that they're taking and a lot of people were pillaging and, and stealing all the supplies so they're trying to figure out a shorter way to go across the sea to get to india anyways from england they sailed off they hit land they didn't know where the hell they were at first anyways so what happened was is people the men on the boat were getting pissed off and everything like that because they just found these these weird people and they're like these aren't this isn't india you know so what happens they went up and down the coast of florida raping and pillaging and killing thousands of Indians 
a long oh. thing because they're they're pissed off because they couldn't find anything. So yeah, wow. So, so Columbus, that guy. wait, so Columbus is responsible for the raping and pillaging? Um, I'm not sure. I wasn't there. But <laughs> yeah. I'm. I, I think that he was. It was mainly his men because, like, they were gonna kill him originally because they could. Yes. They, they they didn't think they thought he was crazy in the first place. I do remember that. So yeah, when they so finally got Columbus there, they were Day. like, you know, they just went wild and they did everything. But Columbus Day, we get off work. You get off work. I don't get off work, and no one should get off work. I don't get off work. I don't think the guy that found America, his his name was like America, wasn't it? Mm. America. What was his name? <clears throat> the guy that found America. Yeah, yeah no. It was actually a Viking, wasn't it? Something yeah, it was like the that. Vikings originally. Well, actually, yes, the Vikings, but there was you Indians already America, here. Indians. Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah. I, mean, well, I know, but someone, someone that, yeah. I swear it was someone named America, and that's why it's called America. But but think how funny that is. Uh, like we call them Indians, but technically these people They're from Americans. Europe, literally, Native, they should be called Native America. It's because Christopher Columbus. Yeah, that we call them Indians, which is bullshit. Well, they, they came over here and said, hey, we're in India, right? Oh, no, we're not. You're not in yeah. India. Oh, we're no, we're Indians. in India. You're fucking Indians, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I think there's, like, the, a famous stand-up comedian that does that. And we still fucking call them Indians to this day. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty bad. I wish yeah. I could just break that habit and just call them Native Americans because it's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm reading about this now. Okay, so, and also, I think I fucked up the whole George Washington swamp box thing, but he still did guerrilla warfare. Fair oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we, yeah, absolutely. Here's yeah, swamp box. The Viking explorer who found America before Columbus is Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, gang. <laughs> yeah, gang. I don't know who this man is. Erickson? Leif Erickson. Hmm. Was yeah, it's, it's a good, Ooh. strong name. Whoa, 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 whoa. His father, Eric the Red, founded the first European settlement of Greenland after being expelled from Iceland around AD 985 for killing a neighbor. Eric the Red's father himself has been banished from Norway for committing wow. manslaughter. Hmm. And Sarah has just texted me, Amerigo Vespucci. That is the guy that actually founded America. That's why we call it America, because Amerigo... Of Vespucci is the guy that actually founded it. Why are so we dirty. called Ver- Thanks, baby. Vespucci of states? <laughs> because State America rolls off the tongue better. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Vespucci. Cheers to that. Sarah goes, I'm a teacher. Yeah. She, sh- a- I sh- she should really be here to, She's to a- tell a you guys things. Is she, a history <laughs> teacher? she knows everything. Yep. Yeah. She's a history <laughs> teacher? No, no, no. She's oh. a teacher. She knows everything. She's the ah. teacher. She also she teaches social studies here and there. So. Ah. Anyway, we're going to go on to our next topic. Which one? And our next topic, because we've just pretty much named all the assholes in history ever. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I don't know what I'm going to call this. Stuff. I think it's just going to be like histories well, and assholes. You know what's or really his- funny? Assholes in history. <laughs> I- I'm going to be right. Man, here. what is that thumbnail going to look like? I'm going to get another <laughs> asshole. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. oh. I got, I got my sister-in-law's boyfriend here who is a history <laughs> buff. And I'm going to go find out who is an asshole that we hadn't talked about. Are you going to go right now? Yes, be right back. All right, hurry up. Hurry Take up. a drink. People Take a drink, guys. Because people are waiting. People, yeah. People All right, we're not waiting. going to I mean, our next topic just that yet. That guy's waiting. You know, that, Steve, can that you think of any waiting. other assholes in history that we haven't named? We've uh, named Edison. We've named Columbus. We've named Alexander Bell. Or the Matt Damon. Well, of course, Matt Damon. Yeah. Goes yeah. without saying. Matt Damon. Come on. Well, actually, he's the nice guy. Isn't Ben Affleck the asshole? Didn't, like, Matt Damon write... All of the. Um, oh, you know who I figured I was an asshole? That I was kind of like put back a little bit by? Uh, Mr. Batman, Christian Bale. I really like oh, Christian Bale a lot. And I just I found out he's an asshole. Family. Yeah, he, he like yelled at his mom and his, and his, and his uh, sister. And then he was really, really rude to that one lighting guy that was just trying to fix the lights. Yeah, yeah. And he was just like, oh, man. I was, remember I was listening to him right and stuff like that. He was just. Yeah. I couldn't believe oh, he was an good for you. Yeah. That's what he would say. I couldn't right? believe it. Yeah, I was like, ugh, man. I was but like, he's not, he's, I mean, he's kind of history, because he's, but he's still alive. So who else? Oh, like, that's way back dead? When, yeah, who's dead was like an asshole. He's probably an asshole. I mean, Hitler goes without saying. Yeah, but he's still alive. No, he's not. 
Yeah, how they're doing a history thing on it right now, proving how, how he's alive, how it was all covered up and all such stuff. You can look it up, man. You can watch TV. Watch the history. Come on. Sarah, 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 Sarah. tell y'all about it. Sarah. Sarah. No? Oh, okay. She'll tell you all about it. He's he's like in like the Bahamas right now or something like that. He's That's like, bullshit. Oops, yeah, him I and Tupac. Him and anything. Tupac are smoking yeah. an L and having good times. Yeah, I'd be like, dude, did you really kill all those people? No, I, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there. No, it's all good. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think Ian's taking way too long. Okay, so wait, well, um, okay, who who look like they would be an asshole? Who would look like they would be an asshole? Yeah, like that's alive right now. You think? Like, um, honestly, in this in this kind of like, it's think about yeah, actor. I, I would say I would say um, <laughs> sorry Napoleon guys, Napoleon looked like he would be kind of a dick. You know, someone with like a. <laughs> <laughs> so someone with like like a short complex like he just Mo, looks like he would kind of like here's another thing too is that he wasn't really short that was no. the average height of the man at the time did you know that so why would they always they would tease him how tall because was he? he is he was like five five or five four or something but that was like that the was average, average height, height of man. Right dude yeah. five five and a half is a perfect height if you ask me Milk does a body good right if now you're, if you're tall than five five and a half i question if like if you you know. aren't you five five and a half Mm. Oh yeah, I I just oh yeah, I totally forgot. <laughs> I so I happen to be that yeah. So your average height, your average height. Yeah, that's dope. In All right, 19- Ian, what do you got for us? Do you have another asshole in history? Sure, no, he was too busy.